In a surprise move today, the president bypassed a Senate filibuster and signed an executive order mandating phase two of universal health care for all citizens. In a statement from the White House, the president justified the unusual step. Despite scattered protests on Capitol Hill from grassroots organizations, Congress swiftly passed the Religious Tolerance Act, which the president signed an hour later. Critics say that instead of promoting religious tolerance, the bill will result in rampant discrimination against conservative Christian and Jewish groups. We're certainly going to have the church's attorney file an appeal, and I'll be asking other pastors to consider the same. For now, we need to obey the law, but we'll also be lobbying to have it repealed, or at least get it on the next ballot so the people can decide. This is a blatant violation of the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law, but that's just what they did. The Supreme Court threw out that challenge, saying that while restricting the printing and distribution of certain religious materials, the law does not amount to censorship, citing the government's compelling interest to ensure domestic tranquility as set forth in the Constitution. In his opinion, Chief Justice Dean wrote, the inflammatory nature of some religious tracts and texts. The National Interfaith Ecumenical Council marked the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the National Church of America. Chairman Earhart Meyer hailed the anniversary as a milestone in interfaith relations and motherhood. The raids resulted in the arrest of several people whose names were not released. A government spokesperson would only say that the arrests were the result of an extensive investigation into allegations of a conspiracy operating out of several homes in the metro area. They won't tell me where the children are. All they'll tell me is that they're in protected custody. And they've denied all my clients' bail. Frankly, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to defend these people if I don't get an opportunity to talk to them. In a daring raid last night, police captured the individual thought to be responsible for the brazen terrorist attack that affected millions earlier in the evening. Mr. Thompson, at last we meet face to face. Looks like tonight's event's been a little rough on you. That's what comes from resisting arrest. I didn't resist. Really? That's not what the report says. Well, I'll have to look into that. Someday. Those are illegal, you know. Not for some. I have a permit. So that's how it is. That's how it is. That was a terrible thing you did, Mr. Thompson. But I will admit, your scheme was well planned and executed. Must have taken you 10 years to set up. Three, off and on. Three years, really? I'm impressed. Truth is, 
we probably wouldn't have found you. At least not as soon as we did. If we didn't already know where you were. Oh yes, we've been keeping an eye on you and your friends for some time now. We knew you were up to something, we just didn't know what. Some of my superiors are saying, I should have arrested you before it came to this. Perhaps I should have. I want a list of names of everyone in your organization. That's not gonna happen. So that's how it is. That's how it is. You know, I've had men cry in that chair. I've had them scream, curse, beg, babble like idiots. I don't believe I've ever had anyone sing before. What was that? One of your little fairy tale songs? It's a song of hope. Hope? The Lord has promised good to me. Boy, you can hate me. You can scream at me. You can curse me with every vile thing you can think of. But you will not mock me. That's one thing I will not tolerate. Take him back to the cell. Yes, sir. Make him a little more comfortable. Come on, get up. He'll be fine. I've never known that boy to turn down a meal. Nor his father either. Hi. Hey. Boy, how how are you? Are you? It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Yes, sir, how are you doing? You don't have to take my word for it. It's all right here in black and white. That's fine for you. But why are you trying to force your morality in on me? Yeah. 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 If it's wrong to force morality on someone, why aren't you trying to force your morality on me? Yeah, but you're Man, the one. I'm not forcing anyone to believe anything. All I'm trying to do is share absolute truth with you. There's no such thing as absolute truth. She's yeah. right. Yeah. She's right. Is that absolutely true? Yes. 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 Friends, we've all been fed that line for so long, it's easy to believe. Many of you were probably taught it in school, that there's really no such thing as right and wrong. What's true for you doesn't have to be true for me. Like ice cream. Of course, the ice cream trick. This young man may like chocolate. Me, I like vanilla. It may sound kind of boring, but I like it. You think that's wrong, son? Well, no. Of course not, since there's no such thing as right and wrong, is there? I like vanilla ice cream. He likes chocolate. Some men like to get drunk and beat their wives. And we're told that morally, there's no difference between any of them. We're told that we have to be tolerant of what other people do and say because there's no such thing as right and wrong. What's true for some people may not be true for someone else. And that is a damnable lie from the pit of hell. Friends, make no mistake. There are things that are always right and things that are always wrong. Things that are absolutely false and things that are absolutely true. Not just for some people, but for all people at all times. And here's the thing, deep down inside, you all know it. And I'm here to tell you why you know it. Let me read something to you. I keep an eye on you. Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. If anything upset him, it was that fanatic back there. 
Don't worry about him, okay? They've come and taken him. He's not gonna bother anybody else. But what was he doing? He was just talking, and you always say that everyone has a right to say what they want. Not his kind, son. All they want to do is stir things up, make people hate each other. But he wasn't talking about hate. He was talking about the truth, just like my teacher. She said that what's true for one person may not be true for someone else. And he said that some things are always true and some things are always false. He said we've all been lied to. That's terrible. Why would anybody say hateful things like that to a child? Mom, he wasn't talking about hate. He was talking about the truth. And he had a book Just in. never mind. But... I said never mind! Look, you just forget about him, that book, and about everything he said. You understand me? You just forget it! Stephen, calm down. Look, my grandparents used to believe that kind of garbage, Evelyn. Well, our son is not going to be filling his head with any of that nonsense. Let's just go home. Go on. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without a form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God. Zachary Robert Thompson, date of birth, citizen number. Surprised? We have quite a bit of information on you. Son of Steve and Evelyn Thompson. I suppose they're the ones that filled your head with all this radical nonsense. Maybe I should bring them in. Ask them some questions. My parents are past that now. Ah, I see. My condolences. They were model citizens, I suppose. They were good people. They loved each other. They taught me to fight for what I believe in. Noble ideal, Mr. Thompson. Provided it's for a reasonable cause. But there's nothing reasonable about what you did. Who decides what's reasonable? The law. That's what separates us from the animals. It's what stops us from killing each other over petty ideologies. It's my job to preserve that order by enforcing the law. The law. Have you ever read the Constitution? The real one? I have. Words on paper, Mr. Thompson. Written by dead men who died nearly three centuries ago. Hardly relevant to today's society. Those words on paper once set us apart from every nation that ever existed. Those words gave us freedom, real freedom, to say what's true, not what's politically correct. To worship though how we please. The law says. Whatever the courts decide it does. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Congress shall make no law. But it is the law and you zealots choose to disobey it. You haven't heard a word I've said. I want the names of the rest of your conspirators. I won't do that. Your mother found this in your room when she was cleaning. 
Mom? Don't mom her. She's not the one who brought that thing into our house. It's not a thing. It's called... I know what it's called. What is it doing here? Dad. Son, that book is illegal. Have you even read it? Maybe you didn't understand me. That book is illegal. There are penalties for just having this in your possession. Not all laws are right. You said yourself the government's always getting carried away. Well, not this time. This one they got right. They did what they had to do to protect people. Protect them from what? That book is full of superstition and ignorance and lies. I do not know any of that is true if you've never read it? We don't need to read it. We know what it says. No, you know what you've been told. I know what it says. I have read it. We've raised you better than this. You can stay here until you go off to college. But that book has to go. Now! Mom, if you'd only listen. leave you alone. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't because we exist. We'll be a threat to them. A thorn in their side. A reminder that there's a higher law that even they'll have to answer to. Someday. You mean God? There is no God. Are you sure? If there were a God, why would he let this happen to you? Why would he abandon you? I was just looking over your academic record. You seem to be a very intelligent man, Mr. Thompson. It actually surprises me that you believe in all this irrational mumbo jumbo. It would be irrational not to believe. If you look at the evidence, the order of the universe, the complexity of life, the eyewitness testimonies, there really is no other rational conclusion. Look at the evidence. The evidence I find points to an entirely different conclusion. 
evolution, chemistry, astronomy, biology. If you make up your mind on a subject before you begin, you can find evidence to any conclusion. That's Alice in Wonderland logic. Verdict first, evidence later. Science has proven there's no God. It's logically impossible to prove that something does not exist. In order to prove there is no God, you would have to be everywhere in the universe at the same time. You'd have to know everything. You'd have to be God. Look, Zach, I'm sorry Mr. Holmes feeling that. We understand. Yeah, I know I missed the wedding before that, and I just Aaron, uh, it's okay. You were busy. Yeah. How's the leg? Still hurts sometimes. But after your rehab, I can finally walk again at least. Uh, just looking at you, you wouldn't really know any, anything was ever seriously wrong. Shoulders okay. Can't really complain. But I'm not exactly back to the way I was though, and I probably won't ever be. So they transferred me out to Cyber Intel. Cyber Intel sounds impressive. What do you do? Well, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we do some email surveillance, uh, cyber attacks. I could tell you more, but then I have to kill you. Right. Gotcha. It's too easy, man. Some things never change. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have it any other way, so... Well, their group's been praying for you. You know, I actually like that. I mean... Uh, <laughs> truthfully, Zach, I used to think you were kind of a religious nut. I mean, harmless. But it's still a nut. And then, uh, I don't know, it's... Uh, I knew you guys were praying for my missions over there. I felt... safe. I... Uh, I guess... I didn't want to get hit, I... felt protected somehow. I don't know. When I was in the hospital last time, I dug out that Bible you gave me, started reading through it. I mean... I read through it before, but that was only because I told you I was going to. You know, it was different this time. It was like uh, a light came on. I just, I could actually understand everything. It's crazy. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. That about sums it up. Take a look at that. Tell me what you think. Hey, hmm. I'm gonna take the girls to the park, okay? Let you okay. guys do your thing. All right. So we'll hey, see you Jersey. later. Hi, Erin. Bye. Bye. See you guys later. Are you serious? Completely. Can it be done? Technically anything can be done, but do you have any idea how long this is gonna take? How much money and time you're gonna spend on it? I'm not talking about finishing it tomorrow. I hope not. I just... I mean, it's still in the idea stage. But I want to send a message. Yeah, you'll send the message, all right. Good news, Mr. Thompson. You want to be all alone much longer? We located your wife and daughters. Your car was located at the airport. It was an easy matter to find out which flight they'd taken. We weren't able to stop them, but your flight is due to arrive in San Diego shortly. Well, they'll be picked up and, and returned here. Well, you know, it's a mistake. No mistake. Warrants for their arrests have already been issued. Kelly Thompson, Joseph Thompson, Jennifer Thompson, all perfectly in order. Their names were taken right off the records for the tickets you purchased. We don't normally arrest children, but this is for their own protection. to be placed in good foster care and raised to forget all this religious nonsense you fed them. As for your wife, however, I wonder how long she'll last for your sake. It's all a mistake. No, Mr. Thompson. This is real. There's no mistake about it. 
If anyone is arrested in San Diego, it will be the biggest mistake you've ever made. My daughter's names are not Josie and Jennifer. Those are the names that we put on their birth certificates to protect them. But those aren't their real names. And if you'll check the actual flight manifest, you'll see that they never actually occupied those seats. Guard! By now, my family stepped off a jet in China. My wife's parents live there, printing Bibles. What the hell took you so long? Did you know that China is the largest producer of Bibles in the world? It's funny. Do something about his attitude and get him to interrogation. Yes, sir. So both these just go in here like this? Yeah, just snap them in there like I showed you. Don't force him. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to force him. Just snap him in. Yeah, I got us a lead on a storage unit. Figured we'd just rent it out. Under a different name, obviously. Obviously. I think if we just finished everything here from my end, we transport it over there and I'll be all set to go. So no specifics here at my place? No, not really. Just laptop, webcam, you know, pretty basic. I thought we could hang a, hang a green screen back here. You know, insert our own background later. How many people don't know you're in your attic? Uh, make it light, dark, indoor, outdoor. Oh, you're a genius. Well, I'll leave all that special stuff up to you. This tech is really over my head. Yeah, but it's my specialty. Trust me. Give me a little time with this. I'll get it to sing. Give it to him! Now! They say it feels like your veins were on fire. Is that true? I thought you didn't believe in truth, Captain. unusual subject I've ever entertained here, Mr. Thompson. I'll have to get a copy of our security record. I'll show it at parties when things get dull. Glad to be of service. Set him in the chair. Tell me about Aaron Wells. Aaron who? Aaron Willis. I don't know any Aaron Willis. There was an actor once named Bruce Willis. A country singer named Kelly Willis. And Willis Lamb won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1955. Aaron Willis is your co-conspirator. Single. One sister living in Vancouver. Parents deceased. Has an impressive military record. Quite impressive. Technical excellence, top level technical expertise. Several commendations for successful completion of sensitive assignments. Tell me, how does someone like him ever make it into naval intelligence undetected? Don't ask, don't tell. I always thought that was a stupid policy. Here's something you probably didn't know. Aaron Willis has a small black mark on his record. They found a Bible in his footlock. A Bible? Yes. Unfortunately, there's no name in it. They couldn't prove it hadn't been placed there by someone else. Otherwise, he'd have ended up in London. Pity. Sounds like you know a lot about Aaron Willis. But there are gaps in our information. For instance, 
How long has she been your associate? Aaron's not my associate. He's my friend. And you don't know where he is, do you? It's just a matter of time. I already have enough evidence to arrest him. I just need a few additional details. What evidence? That's police business. Like holding people without charges and beating them for no reason? That kind of police business? You're a rebel against the state and he's a traitor. Aaron's no traitor. The government spent a lot of time and money training him and now he trains those skills against his own country. I call that treason. Your friend's a traitor and you're a fanatic. You boy people's minds with your intolerant religious propaganda. You want to tear down the order of society. The public needs to be protected from people like you. That's reason enough to hold you. As for the beefs, Officially, they never happened. If everybody wants to be seated, we'll uh, get started. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. I see some new faces. We pray that the Lord's blessing will be on you. It's growing more and more difficult to meet on a weekly basis, especially in the same house. Bill and Susan have offered up their home every couple of weeks. Is anyone interested in hosting every third week? I'll do it. We appreciate that, Aaron. But I've seen your place, and five of us probably wouldn't fit in there, even if it was clean. <laughs> I realize that hosting can be dangerous. There are eyes and ears watching and listening everywhere we go these days. But there's a real need to meet and fellowship on a regular basis. And the more places that we meet, the less attention that we draw to ourselves. I would just ask that everybody pray about it and we'll go from there. Amen. 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 Me, Ace. Uh, yeah, need a little help here. All right, I get to. Thanks. You're good? Yeah. I thought I could do 20, but it was a little heavy. 20 with that? I usually do 15. You got a problem with 20? Problem? No. <laughs> problem. What? You don't think a woman can pull her own weight or lift it, right, Ace? No, actually, I don't think that at all. Look, let, let's just start over. I'm Aaron Willis. Trisha Basir. Sorry if I came on a little strong. It's just, I get tired of these muscle boys that come in the gym and all they think all a woman is good for is to pick up their clothes for them before they head out the door. Well, I would never think that about you because, I mean, obviously, I'm not exactly a muscle boy, so. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen you around here before, have I? Oh, I just started coming. I, uh, I used to go to a gym on the west side, but I like the equipment better here. So, you come here a lot? Yeah, pretty regularly. A friend of mine normally meets me, but he couldn't make it today, so... Too bad. Um, yeah. Hey, you don't play basketball, do you? Not very well, but I'm always up for a challenge. Well, I don't move the way I used to, so I don't know how much of a challenge it's going to be, but... So, already making excuses before I even beat you. Give it a shot. Thanks for the game. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Although, you know, you're gonna have to give an old wounded vet like me a rematch. Wounded vet? Yeah. Well, that's one I haven't heard before. It's true. In fact, if you want to come out to eat, I can tell you all about it. No, I can't. I have to go pick up my daughter at the daycare. Ah. Uh. How about tomorrow, after the rematch? Loser buys. 
Oh, so you're gonna buy. Is that what you think? That, that's what I know, yeah. Sounds good to me. Same time? Same time. Alright. Well, keep trying. Well, try again. Until I say to stop. Having a problem? Minor issue. But I think you better worry about your own troubles. You're not leaving this room until you tell me what I want to know, Mr. Thompson. However long that takes, why go through all that pain? All that suffering? The sufferings of this world are not to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Really? Then let me give you something else to consider. Get the barrel. You're the distracted one. Me? No, I... Aaron, no. Phone calls you don't want me to hear. Missing appointments. When you do show up, your mind's somewhere else. Nothing's going on. It's just... Uh... Speaking of new faces, I uh, was at the gym Wednesday. It was that woman I saw you with. Is she the reason you've been so out of it lately? I haven't been out of it. I've just been thinking. Okay, maybe I have been a little bit. Well, we, we met at the gym that one time you couldn't make it, and we just played some ball and hit it off, I guess. It's it, We're just friends, though. It's not a big deal at all, so don't worry about it. Well, if it's not a big deal, how come you never brought it up? Well, I, I was gonna bring it up, but just. But her name's Trisha. Okay, she's she's great. She's she's fun. She's she's great to be around. She's easy to talk to. She's got this young daughter that's awesome. We get along. We all get along really well. Is she one of us. What? You heard me. Well, I know she's... Uh, I'll take that as a no. That's not right, Aaron. Wait a minute, you don't even know her. Well, what do you know about her? Well... I mean, who is she? Where does she come from? What's she do for a living? What does she think about people like us? All right, you made your point. Okay, and maybe I don't know every little detail about her. But I will. And I do know I've never felt this way before. You know, about anyone. And uh, I'm thinking of telling her. I just think you should wait. Wait. So that's the way it's gonna be? You get to be happily married and I just have to be the single sidekick for this plan of yours? That's not what I mean. We have to be sure about her. I mean, really sure. 
We can't endanger the project. Once we start, we can't stop. I mean, there's no going back. I know that, and I've thought about it a lot. Look, you have to trust me on this one, man. I do trust you, but I can't trust her. Not yet. Aaron. I'm responsible for everybody that was here tonight. Not to mention the other house churches that we've planted. I'm not gonna throw all that away because you're falling for some girl that you just met. You know, you're the person who's always saying to have faith and seek out new members. You're not seeking out new believers. You're rationalizing a relationship without considering the damage it might cause. Damage? Are you serious? Yeah, damage. Your daydreaming has already put us past schedule and over budget. Over budget? What? You mean that spill? You know, you may be perfect, Zach, but the rest of us have accidents. It was a pretty expensive accident. I'm not a bank that I can draw endless funds from. Aaron, I appreciate everything that you've done. More than you know. But you can't put your life ahead of the church. And I won't allow you to endanger the project. And what are you going to do about it? You're going to finish it yourself? You know anybody else who, who can do what I do? Because if you do, then call me. I'm out of here. You don't mean that. Really? All I'm asking is that you spend a little more time focusing on your work and a little less time daydreaming about some random girl. I told you before, she's not a random girl. This is nice. Uh -huh. We shouldn't stay very long, though. Nothing doing, Mr. Thompson. You can take a break for one day. Kelly. Stay with me. I'll buy you some chocolate chunk ice cream on the way home. Well, that's not playing fair. I know. <laughs> is that Aaron? Where? Over there, walking with that woman. It is. Aaron! Kelly. Maybe we should go. 
Zack, you can't keep doing this. Stay and talk to him. Please. Hey, Kelly. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. Hi. Zack, Aaron, this is Trisha and her daughter Vanessa. Hi. 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 So what are you guys doing here? Well, the girls wanted to come play, so I thought we'd bring them. You have girls? Yeah, we got two. Uh, Jordan and JC. Vessen, do you want to go play with the girls? Go ahead. Jordan! JC! This is Vanessa! I have an idea. Zach, why don't you and Aaron go get us some ice cream? No, that's okay. Oh, it's it's fun. Our treat, really. It's fine. Okay. Make mine. Double, Double fudge. fudge. Yeah. <laughs> Strawberry for you. And peach. For, for Vanessa, yeah. So, where did you meet? At the gym. We uh, started working out together, and I guess one thing just led to another. I'm a bit surprised. Aaron's always been rather shy. <laughs> hmm. So, have um, you and your husband known him a long time? Since forever. <laughs> He's a really great guy. The girls love him. Vanessa does too. Trisha. I have to confess, um, this meeting wasn't an accident. Kelly arranged this? Yeah, she called me a couple of days ago. Why would she do that? Apparently she heard us arguing about Trisha the other day and thought if we got it out in the open and be the best way to deal with it. Look. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what happened to me back there. It's okay. No, it's not. I could have killed you. For a second, I might have even wanted to kill you. It's our old nature, man. It's never going to completely go away until we go home. I know. Thanks, man. So Kelly put all this together, huh? Well, we both decided it would probably be better to meet in a public place like this rather than take her to your house right off the bat. Look, you gotta trust me, man. Alright, at first I'm just gonna let her know that I'm a believer. And if she rejects that, then I'll leave town. I'll disappear out of her life. She's never gonna connect me with any house church anywhere near here, okay? I mean, I really care about Trish. But you're the closest thing I've ever had to a brother. I don't want to choose between you two. You shouldn't have to. It must be difficult being a single mom. Sometimes, but it's a better choice than living with her father. Does Vanessa ever see him much? No, she's never met him. I've never even told her his name. To be honest with you, I don't even know his name. We all make mistakes, Trisha. It's what we do afterwards that matters. If we ask forgiveness and pick ourselves up... Forgiveness? It's me. Aren't you gonna answer? No, it's, it's just the pharmacy. Vanessa has some allergies and they're just calling to let me know her prescription's ready. Mm -hmm. With the girls, it's usually skin, knees, and elbows from falling on the sidewalk or scratches from sisterly fights. Speaking of which, I think I see one brewing right now, if you'll excuse me.
Should be set. Wait, you tested it? Yeah. We're in short distance test of the office. I know the thing inside and out, and I couldn't trace the signal. Thinking maybe a week, and we're ready to go. Wow. Hey, I told you I was good, you right? That you did. Yeah, I just want to run a few more tests and check out those codes we bought. Should we be good to go? Want to tell Kelly about it? No. No? No, she still thinks it'll be a few months yet. A few months? Yeah. What are you going to tell her? Not till I have to. I mean it. Behave or no story tonight. Here, you left this. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, it's about time. <laughs> Finally here. Come on, girls. Hey, girls, we have ice cream. Strawberry. Peaches. You sure? I can bring her in for you. No, it's okay. The place is a mess and you need to be going. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, alright. Got her? Call you tomorrow? I'd like that. Hello, Trisha. What are you doing here? I have an agent who won't answer the phone. Won't return my messages. I was worried. You? Worried about me? Perhaps instead of questioning my motives, you should explain why you haven't been returning my calls. I can't when I'm with Aaron. Judging by the number of calls you haven't answered, you must be spending quite a bit of time with him. Isn't that my assignment? Get close to him. Find out what he knows about underground churches in the area. Locate them. Yes, that's your assignment. The question is, are you getting close to completing it? Not yet. It's still too soon to bring it up. I might make him suspicious. That's a chance I'll take. I don't want to pull you off this assignment. But if I even think you're starting to become one of them, I'm going to treat you just like one of them. What would happen to Vanessa then? Yes, it's a terrible thing to lose a child. To know you'll never see him again. Dear God, be with Kelly and Jordan and JC. Be their strength, be their rock, and be their comfort. Let them know how much I love them. God, be with your people. And give me strength so that I won't betray them.
You were telling me something at the park. Something about knowing somebody? Yeah, I was trying, wasn't I? Trish, sometimes when two people meet, it takes a while to, to find out who the other person really is. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Well, you know, when we met, you know, it's what some people might call fate, I guess. Like someone scripted it. Scripted? Trish, I guess it's just, you know, I believe there's there's a reason and there's a purpose behind everything, okay? Aaron, I... Trish, let me finish, please. That, that intelligence is, he's the source of everything that's good. He's... Okay, can I refill that for you? Sure. Your pizza should be out in just a minute. Can I get you anything else? No, I think we're fine. Thank you. Aaron, maybe, maybe this isn't the right time or place for this. Maybe you're right. We'll finish this before the night's done, though, okay? I promise. She's down for the count. Good. We had a wonderful time this evening. Now it's time to finish our conversation, finally. Aaron, I really do Trish, don't... I have to say this. Okay, I need you to know who I am. Who I really am. I'm a, I'm a believer. You mean you believe in God? I believe in God, too. No. No, I'm talking about the true living God. God who wants to, to get to know us, wants to have a personal relationship with us. I mean, he, he would even send his own son to save us. That's the God I believe in. That's the God I want you and Nessa to get to know, too. Why are you telling me this? Because I love you. I love Vanessa. I want to spend the rest of my life with you guys. I want you to be part of my home church. But only the state church is legal. You're you're asking me to risk so Risk what? God's love? Eternal life? Look, Trish, Trish. You can trust me, okay? You can trust me on this. Aaron, it's dangerous. The government is too powerful. I've heard stories of people being arrested and then just disappearing. Nobody knows what happened to them. It's dangerous. I'm not denying that. But doesn't that make trust even more important? That's easy for you to say. I have the Nessa to think about. What would happen to her then? Trish, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I have to check this. Trish, I have to go. I'm sorry, it's just Zach and I have we're working on a project. It's maybe the most important thing I've ever done. Just... Please at least think about what I said, okay? Okay. Don't you need to go? Don't shut me out, Trish. Don't shut God out. Please call me. Mommy, are you okay? Mommy's just a little sad right now. Is it because Aaron had to go? Because he had to go. 
I can sing you a song that man taught me when he feels sad. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are sweet but he is drunk. Yes, Jesus loves me. Have you located Agent Masir yet? No, sir. The transponder has not functioning due to damage or been deliberately disabled. Then keep trying! Have my car brought around front with three officers. Yes, sir. You! Make sure he gets back to the cell. No sign of her, sir. Doesn't look like she took any clothes. All the lights are on. They must have left in a hurry. Overtake. Two days. It has to be then. That's our best window of opportunity. Aaron, I know this is going to be difficult, but you can't tell anybody about this. Not even Trisha. You just told Kelly. Kelly has to know so she can get the girls out of the country. It's different with Trisha. As much as you care about her, until she commits her life to Christ, she isn't one of us. And we can't afford to take any more risks. Not this close. No, he's right. I know. Kelly. Send your parents a message. And tell them that you and the girls are coming to visit. I'll tell everyone else at tomorrow night's meeting. Wake up! Where is she? <laughs> What have you done with? I don't know what I've done with who. Are you holding her hostage? Or have you already killed her? I don't know, hostage. Agent Trisha Bashir. Agent Trisha. You found out about her, didn't you? So you took her. Oh, your friend did. Probably torturing her for information right now. Maybe he thinks he could trade her for you. We don't negotiate with Terrence. Aaron would never hurt. He's a killer, Thompson. That's what they do in the seals. Maybe enemy soldiers, but not her. We're not terrorists, and you know it. Maybe you're not terrorists, but a dead agent will go a long way towards demanding that image in the public's mind. If there's a dead child, even better.
bum? Trish, it's me. Look, I don't want you to think I was trying to force anything on you the other day. I, um, it's just such an important piece of my life that I want you and Vanessa to, to, to be a part of it with me. I'm involved with something, and after tonight, things may never be the same. I love you. Set here. Are you ready for this? I've been praying about it all night. That's not what I asked, and you know it. Yeah, I'm ready. We're ready. All right, all the tech set up. All right, I'll call you back in a couple of minutes because I gotta say goodbye to Kelly and the kid. Okay. So, kill bye for me. And Zach? Take all the time you need, okay? Mom's reading us a story about Paul going on a trip. We're going on a trip too. That's right. We're gonna go see Grandpa and Grandma. It's time to go. Why don't you girls go get your coats? to chase you, what if? That's why you and the girls are going away. If something goes wrong. <laughs> you'll be safe. I don't want to be safe. <laughs> I want to be with you. Children need their mother, Kelly. Oh, but <laughs> whatever happens is gonna happen. Kelly, God is in control. I know. I know. <laughs> you gotta go. Good girl for mommy and grandpa and grandma. I will. And you'd be a good girl for me. Be a good girl to daddy. I promise. I know you will, sweetheart. Why aren't you coming with us, daddy? Daddy's got some things he has to take care of, sweetie. Girls, why don't I? Why don't you go get in the van?
Yep. Okay. Routing scramblers are up. Encryption keys are active. <sighs> Network is all lit up. You have control. Don't go getting all religious on me now. I'll be praying for you. My name is Zach. I am a Christian. Please don't turn this off. I beg you to hear me out. This is not a recording. What I have to say is so important, I felt it was necessary to do this live so that you might grasp just how vital my message is. This is a Bible. The Holy Word of the Living God. Many, if not most of you, have never seen one. But there was a time well before I was born when it was the most widely read book in our country. You could freely walk into just about any bookstore and buy one. There were even organizations that gave them away for free. They put them in hotel rooms, in hospitals. No one was forced to read them, but they were there for anyone who might be in need of comfort. But we became lax in our understanding, ignorant about what the Bible says and what it means. So when people made claims that the Bible wasn't true, that it was full of superstitions and lies and hatred, we didn't know how to defend it. People who opposed the message of the Bible used the media, education, the legal system, any means they could to marginalize it, to make the Bible seem irrelevant, old-fashioned, even dangerous. They shouted the Bible's message down as intolerant, never understanding that they were the intolerant ones. They banned the Bible in schools, government, eventually in society itself, all in the name of freedom and tolerance. They ignored the very foundation of our laws and took away our right to worship God as we pleased. But they made a mistake. They assumed that the Bible was the work of man rather than the divinely inspired, inerrant word of the living God. In centuries past, other men, other countries, tried to silence God's word. They tried to stamp it out. They failed every time. The Word of God continued to flourish while the other countries were consigned to the dust of history. What is it that the media and the schools and the government are so anxious to silence? What is it that they don't want you to hear? It's God's voice crying out to us, giving us a message so important that He sent Jesus Christ, His only Son, to deliver it in person. This is His message. I love you. I have always loved you. I chose you to be mine, to know me, to fellowship with me, to live with me forever. But your sin has caused you separation from me. For I am completely just and holy, and I cannot allow sin into my presence. And my justice must be fulfilled. Yet I love you so much that I have taken the punishment that you deserve onto myself. I offer you eternal life with me. All you have to do is repent of your sin and accept complete forgiveness from my son, Jesus. That is the message contained in this book. And let me be clear on something. Accepting Jesus Christ as your savior is the only way to achieve salvation. All paths do not lead to God. I know that you've been taught such thinking is intolerant and hateful. And perhaps it would be if it weren't true. Please, I urge you to consider the claims that the Bible makes and accept God's gift of salvation. So that you may read these claims for yourself, I have sent a digital copy of the Bible to every email address in the world. Zach! Share it with someone who might not have received it. And if you take away anything from this message at all, let it be this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him 
shall not perish, but have everlasting Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Hey! No! Goodbye. God be with you, called Paul's friends. They stood on the seashore and watched Paul get on the ship. They loved him very much and did not want to say goodbye to him. Paul was a prisoner. He had done nothing wrong. But some people did not want him to tell others about Jesus. So they put him in prison. Now an army captain was taking Paul across the sea to the big city of Rome. Paul's friends waved as this ship sailed away. Snap, flap. The ship's sails blew in the strong wind. The sailors had a hard time sailing the ship. At last, they came to an island where they stopped. Why did he not get out? I don't know where. Meet me at Rocket Ship Park. 10 o'clock. Why? Just, What's... just be there, please. Stop it! You're gonna kill him! Get out of my way. Killed him once. This time you'll succeed. You think I care? Even he's got rights. A Christian? I don't think so. Trisha! Trisha, come on, let's get out of here. Don't come any closer. What's wrong? Where, where's Nessa? She's asleep in the car. I gave her a sleeping pill. She'll be out for a while. What? Why? What's going on? I know about Zach. I saw it on TV. Yeah, that's why we have to go. Come on. Stay back. I want, I want you to take Vanessa and go away. Never come back here. I don't understand. Trish. I made it, Aaron. Trish. Just go. Take Vanessa and she'll be better off with you. What are you, what are you talking about? It was me, Aaron. It was me. Trish, Trish, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Don't you understand? It was my fault. I'm the one who got your friend arrested. I work for the government, Aaron. 
yourself isn't the answer? Do you think somehow it's going to make up for what you've done? That it'll put an end to your pain? It won't. Only forgiveness can do that. Too, Trisha. I want his own disciple. He denied three times with someone he counted one of his closest friends. He was dying on a cross, he looked down on those people. He said it put him there. He said, Father, forgive them. See, that's what Zach's message is all about. That it doesn't matter what you do, Trish. As long as you ask God for his forgiveness, you admit you're wrong, you ask him, and he'll forgive you. I know if was here, he'd say the same thing. I forgive you. And I forgive you. I've done so much. I've hurt so many people. Yes, but when Jesus paid for our sins. Zach's, yours, mine, everyone's. They were all in the future, Trish. Don't you see? That's why if you'll just ask me, you can forgive everything. Please, Trish. Put down the gun. Give me one minute, and let's all be over. The Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. <laughs> he makes me lie in green pastures. <laughs> We're in. What are you gonna do? Well, I probably took apart the system that was at Zach's house. I was actually just a remote station though. All the actual cyber work was done through here. So if I can just get access to the prison security system. The world needs to know what really goes on during one of these re-education sessions. I should probably go. be asking me for my forgiveness. I had a wife and son once. They believed in your God. Where's Dipper? Did you know how he repaid them? He sent a 30 ton truck to crush their car into a mangled heap of glass and metal. The MT said my wife died instantly for they could hear my son screaming for an hour in pain that it took him to dig him out of the wreck. I stood by his bedside all night long. Praying to your precious God to save my son. Free him from his pain. And all I got from him was silence. And you ask him to forgive me? Forgive me? Well, I don't want your God's forgiveness. And I don't need your God's forgiveness. No! <coughs> You're doing it, Thompson. That won't be necessary. You've done your job. These images captured in broadcasts across the nation and around the world just three days ago have galvanized the public. Just one day prior to these images, the man in the mysterious footage, now identified as Zachary John Thompson, interrupted television, computer, and other broadcast receivers with a message about what he called God's love and forgiveness. An emergency session of Congress has been convened to investigate the man's death at the hands of a religious tactical response unit agent. They will also consider measures to repeal many of the hate crime statutes that were enacted a generation ago that were aimed at the Christian church and its message. 
legislation that many are now saying is unconstitutional. Freedom's won by 